22 million unemployed. And when you see this video, it's guaranteed to be more. I'm not gonna take money, food, diapers, medicine, healthcare out of my little baby's hands, okay? Because A, somebody tries to rip me off, B, because of corporate crap for from an economic decline. My babies, my family doesn't need to suffer and they won't suffer through it. So listen, if somebody doesn't wanna give you a deposit run, if somebody doesn't want to give you a 75%, 80%, or even 100%, that means that they don't have trust in you or they're not planning on paying you. We saw three McLarens, two, two or three. I missed them on Instagram. I got one of them. But uh, last week they did this like car parade for the coronavirus, like to boost everybody's spirits. Like there's a bunch of people enjoying them. But um, there was a Lambo, and I, I'm a huge Lambo guy, and I love these Maseratis too. These things are sweet. Um, it's like the uh, Fast and Furious when when uh, he's driving the Maserati. That thing's sweet, but. Tons of Corvettes. I know a lot of Corvette guys. Tons of Mustangs. I think every Mustang in Kansas City was here. Um, and a lot of older cars. I don't know anything about older cars. I don't really like older cars that much. But uh, it's cool to see everybody kind of smiling and waving at each other and trying to get the coronavirus out of everybody's brain. But look at that. And we're kind of stuck here, so we're just gonna enjoy the car show. This would be great to advertise your business for free. Oh, these guys. Tons of Jeeps. Oh, he's got a cop horn. That's pretty cool. That's like the, uh, the only positive thing that I've seen people actually out doing to help other people and give other people a smile and wave at everybody. I think that's super, super cool. Um, but yeah, what a great day to end the, the Saturday mowing vlog. I do not schedule anything on the weekend. So what does that mean? <clears throat> that means on a perfect week, which in the springtime uh, is very rare. Um, we schedule everything Monday through Friday. And so what happened, we had two days where it rained in the morning or we couldn't mow because it was wet it rained that night so like we basically had two half days which equaled a full day ish which is why we mowed a full day on saturday today um so i don't schedule anything like i don't say oh miss jones i'm gonna mow on saturday but i will mow if i have to um to get the yards done we did about 10, I think, today. So 10 yards didn't get done from this week due to rain. Um, 
and I still try to like I still apologize to people like if I see them out or they text me um, and remind them that hey we try not to schedule anything on the weekends you know we want you guys to be out and about and enjoy your lawn or or have some uh, uh, you know people over uh, but you know it's better to get it cut than to wait next week and then one you've missed a week of revenue two the yard's gonna be super long three they're not gonna be very happy with their lawn being tall all weekend but uh, yeah man that was my biggest struggle is perfecting a schedule and an amount of yards that that you can catch up on Saturday if it rains but there's not really, unless it just rains all week, um, but there's not really gonna be a time where we don't get lawns done that week. And I think that's super important and when you're trying to be a more professional company, I think that is like one of the biggest things is accountability. Um, I know like, like from owning a house and, and having people come do like certain things at your house, whether that's plumbing or HVAC or whatever it is, to work on something or fix something, you realize how annoying it is when they say they're gonna be there, they don't show up. When you know, you're know you planning on somebody doing something or being somewhere or expecting a certain level of service and it's not met. It's super aggravating, annoying, and uh, I think that we have to really realize that when we're owning a lawn care business that communication is giant. If you're not gonna make it there that week, that is not as big of a deal because you're gonna, you're gonna be the one that's dealing with the, high, uh, the tall grass next week. It's a bigger deal, the communication to text those clients, call those clients, and say, hey, we're not gonna be there on Friday and here's the reason why. Um, I know when we're out hustling, it's hot out, like, dude, we're working our butts off, we're doing everything we possibly can in our business, then we have to go home and invoice these people and, and do all the other things we have to do and hang out with the family and I get all that, but you have to realize that in the customer's eyes, the only thing they see is how does my lawn look? Have I gotten an invoice yet? And do I know when Blake will be there or why he's not here? Like the communication of that is so big. It takes literally 20 seconds to send a text to these clients to let them know the situation, let them know what's going on. Um, it's really, really big guys. So. I, I wanted to give you that little bit of inspiration. Listen, I've got two babies. I've got a wife that I haven't seen much of this week, dude. We've been working our freaking butts off. Um, I'm sore. We've been really doing a ton of landscaping by hand, off camera. I did two huge, eh, not huge, two decent sized landscape jobs with rock, mulch, cleanups, um, this past week, this week, like it's the Saturday of the week that we did it. Next week, we have a gigantic job. Um, oh my gosh, I rented, I rented a machine. Um, it's gonna be dope. Um, uh, hopefully I'm gonna have all my camera stuff ready and I'll record some of it, but, um, got the payment today. We're all set. Do the prepayment thing. Th this is gonna be, this is another gold nugget I'm giving you right now. And let me just tell you, I'm your friend. This is important. Okay. With what is going on, and I trust, I don't work with people I don't like or trust, okay? I don't mow their lawns, I don't do their landscaping, I don't care about how much money is whatever. If I don't like you, you're not in my world, okay? So, um, that's number one. I trust a lot of people, which is fine. But with what is going on in the world right now, and this is not negative. This is just, you gotta have your ducks in a row. With what's going on in the world, you need to get 
you need to get at least what which like the standard of landscaping the deposit was 50 percent that's like super like get 50 percent down when you book the job and the day we start or the day we leave the other hundred percent needs to be filled you go watch stan's video from a couple years ago he says like 25 percent at book 25 when we start 25 when we show some sort of um you know step in the process that we get to another 25 percent, and then another 25 percent the second we finish or whatever listen with what's going on right now you need to take at least 75% of the job total up front, okay? You need to have every expense covered before you start the job, book the job. That's just the world. And with what's going on right now, if people are doing the job, like if they're still booking the landscape jobs, this is how I communicate to it, okay? And most people, I don't even, I just say this is our, this is the new policy. Paid up front. Paid up front. I used to be so scared of saying that. What if they think that I'm going to take the money? Well, when you have a deposit of 100% down, okay, you're, now your only job is communication. Letting that client know exactly when you're going to be there. If you're late a minute, because now it's your responsibility instead of taking the time to bill them and worry about getting paid now it's your job to do over communication let them know every step of the process because now like you know you owe them okay because they're paid and they, you know what I'm saying but what it does for you is when I go do this job and I buy 17 yards of mulch and I rent a machine and all this I'm just going out to do the job and do a good quality job I'm not worried about getting paid and that's really really big anytime but especially right now with the, the virus and all that and what's going on with the economy 22 million people filed for unemployment already this past two months with the coronavirus 22 million people it's going up millions of people a week. Guys, you never know who could get laid off. And if you're mid landscape job, listen, desperate people do desperate things. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You don't wanna be caught in the middle of somebody else's situation. Um, do I want to do everything I can to help them? Absolutely. Absolutely. But if we're in the middle of a job and something like that happens, I need to be paid for my work, my time, my family, my business is number one priority. Um, I can't work for a week where I could have done other jobs and getting paid and not get paid when I have a family, okay? Or when you have a family. So I don't wanna, even if even if the deposit paid for the materials and the machine, that's fine. But how am I gonna feed my family? And like, I'm getting like really passionate here because I, dude, 22 million people, it is scary, okay? The, the virus is scary, the economic um, issues is very scary. But I just taught you how to mitigate that whole situation. If your client doesn't approve of that, I have not had one person ever tell me no because I build trust in my, my business. I build, um, I, I have built relationships and integrity with people in my business and my brand that people know that I'm not gonna rip them for little nickels and dimes or whatever. I stand by my word. I stand by my work and that's it. So people will sniff out somebody trying to rip them off in a heartbeat and um, they know that's not me. And so I hope you guys have built relationships with people 
so they know that that's not you. So I would get, dude, me personally, me personally, I'd get 100% down before I get on a landscape job, before I order the materials. This is not, this is not 2004. This isn't 2005 where, this isn't the old days, okay? Where you wait 30 days to get paid, where you wait, sometimes if you bill at the end of the month and you mow somebody or do work on the first, you wait to bill them on the 30th and then you wait a net 30, that's 60 days that you have fronted money for people. That is ridiculous, ridiculous. And it, it's crazy that people are still doing it. It's crazy that that's what people expect because landscapers have trained and taught them that that is how this industry works. It's the only industry or a limited amount of industries that that's the expectation. You don't go to restaurants and expect to pay for your burger or your steak 60, 30 or 60 days. They're both ridiculous. I think that number, both of those numbers are just asinine, craziness, okay? When you're talking about thousands of dollars. Now listen, my big jobs are a few thousand bucks. Some big jobs that you guys might do are $100,000, whatever it is. I don't care if it's $200. I do not want to take money out of my little bit. Like this is how passionate I see this. I'm not gonna take money, food, diapers, medicine, healthcare out of my little baby's hands, okay? Because A, somebody tries to rip me off, B, because of corporate crap for from an economic decline. My babies, my family doesn't need to suffer and they won't suffer through it. So listen, if somebody doesn't wanna give you a deposit run, if somebody doesn't wanna give you a 75%, 80%, or even 100%, that means that they don't have trust in you, or they're not planning on paying you, or they've got something else going on. Now listen, if they can't front all the money of a landscape job up front, A, they shouldn't be doing it. But if they're waiting for something to come in, maybe a week or two down the road, then I would push that project away for two weeks, get the deposit you can now, and get all the money up front before you start that job, okay? I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you, man, this world is freaky. This is untraveled territory with what's going on. 22 million unemployed. And when you see this video, it's guaranteed to be more. We don't know what the future has. We don't know what one week, two week, three weeks from now are. So get the money, okay? You know I'm not like this, but I'm so passionate. When, I, when you have kids, if you have kids, it's something that is so, you've never felt this feeling before. I've never felt this feeling before. Okay, of protection against this little sweet, innocent babies. And my job is to protect them, keep them safe, and make money and be successful for them. That is my job. I don't care how you see it, that is what I believe. I believe it is to run a good company that has integrity, that stands behind their work, that makes money, that does the best for people, that builds great relationships. That is what I see my job is, and to be there for my family. And so, the, the uh, dude, I've been ripped off. I've been ripped off before, and it was before I had kids, and I said I will, I never wanna feel like that again. Because I paid, f dude, even mowing. I paid for my equipment, my oil changes, my grease, my, my gas my gas in my truck to get there. You wore and tore on my tires, my brakes. Like, oh my gosh. Not only to mention that I paid my employees. I paid taxes on my employees. I paid, 
paid workman's comp insurance on my employees. I did everything right, everything legal. I'm not scared a lick of anything coming at me because I do everything by the books, everything legal. I pay ridiculous taxes. I pay ridiculous insurance prices because that was a long time ago. I don't want to worry about that. I run a legit business and I don't want to be ripped off. Okay, we've we've hammered the point in. You guys understand. I, I'm getting a little fired up here. So I'm going to go home and take a shower and take a little breather. But I hope you guys saw the fire in me. Okay, because this is what you need to do. I just see my little babies, okay, or my wife or anybody, my family. You're the only person that's protecting them, dude. I hate to tell you, there's nobody else, okay? Your family is everything, your business is everything. I would do 100% down on these landscape jobs, dude. If you're in a situation like me, this is a time where small claims court, all that crap isn't an option. It's just not an option right now, okay? It's 2020, guys. This is not the olden days of lawn care and landscaping. I hate to tell you. You don't have to wait for checks and payments and anymore. It's instantaneous right now online. There can be no excuses. There, there can be no excuses. If they don't have the money to pay it, they can't be doing landscape jobs because I can't put material on your property and take it away, take money away from my family. That just doesn't make any sense at all, okay? Um, and that needs to be your th thought processes through all of this. So that was a 19 minute rant and I, I, I just can't, I, 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 I'm leaving. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you watched all the way through, I hope it helped you guys. Have a great rest of your day, weekend, week. That's it. Thank you so much. Check the link into the description. Help support me or just go crush it out there, guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Peace.